No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. Today we got one take Jane here. How you feeling, man? Wait, hold up. We in this bitch hanging like titties. <laughs> That's real. Yeah. That's a real way to put it. <laughs> I've always been interested in you because you seem like you're the only guy out of the sort of like, I guess, R. Baron extended comic, bur- comic book universe who doesn't claim to be in a gang and isn't smoking big dope. Parm foes. Not for sure. You're kind of like the the I'm me. The different energy in that whole collective. It's a vibe. It's a vibe. Like a, you ever seen a rap, a rap like a rap star? A rap star? Rap rock star. Okay. Cause like it's not niggas like it ain't you can't name really one rapper. Like I ain't talking about the niggas that make trap music and be on the trap beats like the ratchet rappers. Mm. That's mosh pitting in the crowd with the people that got a hundred White boys ready to beat my ass, but they love me too. Come on. That's how it is. Come on, bro. Damn, I never seen you with the, the hundred like white that. boys trying to fight you crowd. I seen you come like out at that. a lot of shows. Blueface, Shoreline, nah, that's like, all that's, kinds of that's, stuff. That's like new me, though. Mm. That was new me. Now I'm like waking them up. like So now I'm bringing out the bag of tricks. Mm. There it is. One take J. Oh, shit. I'm supposed to have these on? I mean, you can if you want to. I did notice you had the big Patron in there. Or is that too, nah, that's, Don, it? that's Don Fulio. Okay. That's that's your drink of choice? I mean, I really drink anything. I'm like a daredevil type. Oh, so you're not Mr. Like, no drugs. You're just no drugs besides alcohol. I mean, I drink, but like, I'm like a fun drunk. Like, you know how niggas be belligerent? Like, mm. ah, get out. Like, no. Nah. Yeah, you don't really get that with like heroin. You don't mean like a fun heroin user. <laughs> But alcohol, you know, you could be a fun drinker, right? You never felt like a you had a propensity to be an alcoholic or anything. You never had an issue with it. I never really nah, had an issue sure with it. Not. I don't really. Drink I don't drink anymore, all but. the time. I only drink like when it's like an occasion or something. Like I don't even drink. Like people be like, you don't even get drunk to record because you know how niggas say like, nigga, you don't be high when you be saying all that random ass shit. Like, nah, I ain't never been high when I uh, when I made a song or right. drunk. <laughs> You don't need that. Because I'm really like that. If you really have the music in your soul, you don't need the fucking No, it might not be in my anything. soul. It might be at my... Never mind. Let me be PG. But okay, you you make turned up music, fun, energetic, but sometimes don't you go in the, in the studio and you just don't have that energy? Yeah, for sure. Like, I only make them type of songs when I'm feeling like that. Like, I got some hot shit that's really like that. Okay. Like, uh, maybe like uh, a song in the beginning... Uh, Go to SoundCloud and type in, I don't fuck around. Like a lot of the fans, you know how like some shit you know hot that they going to fuck with, but you been released it like when you wasn't hot. Right. So I posted that shit up and that shit went from like probably like only 100,000 to like like an extra 300,000, probably like a week or two. Really? They fucking with it. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, you know, when I think about it, one of the first times I really like took note of what the fuck you were doing is when I seen you come out on stage at a show and everybody knew the fucking words of one of your songs I hadn't even heard. I think it was Hello, but it was like the fucking, that shit just blew up and I just, somehow I just didn't notice. And everybody, people were like, oh, it's on the radio. I mean, yeah, it's a lot going on, a lot of rappers and shit. It's a lot of rappers, especially in LA, so people tend to miss shit. Yeah, but that fucking, having that, Kind of radio love is crazy just to have that many people in the crowd be so turned up off that song. How the fuck did that song in particular get on the radio? How you get on the radio? They just put it on there. Literally. They just occasionally decided they want to show nah, some like, love? Like, the crazy part, I, I really don't even know. Like, literally, they just was like, hey, we about to play your shit. And then it went from, no, because look, I'm telling you, like, you know how, like, it's typical for niggas to be hella bougie and shit with rappers, like nigga with a little status to be bougie. Like, so when I first did Power 106, well, actually they played, I can't even say that because they played the song before I ever went up there. But that was like, like maybe like they played it like once or twice on the new at night. They mm. they kind of start really fucking with the, not like that, really? Hello? was like for, for sure like the first song that they really start playing from the young niggas in LA for mm. sure. But like, so they played it one time, but that was on the new at night. Then I built the relationship when I went up there and they always just fucking with me. So I did an interview or whatever. So they like, uh, 
they like, uh, can you do some drops for us? I'm like, shit, I'm thinking it's regular. Like, I'm like, yeah, I ain't tripping. I ain't got nothing to do. So I did like literally drops for the whole station. And they was fucking with that like it was rare or random or something like. And I'm thinking it's regular though. And like, I don't know. I feel like I help people that help me. Like they playing my shit. A nigga do a little drop. Like it, I, I felt like it wasn't nothing. But after I did that, like nigga, people was waking up in the morning. Like they was literally playing the song on the morning show, the afternoon and night. Literally. That's crazy. How they, that. they still have that much power that they could really like give a song a huge boost. No, for sure. <laughs> That's fire. That's good to hear. Do you think part of it is just that when you build relationships like that and you just People like you, and they just see you as like a solid dude. That is nah, hell yeah, that's a big part of it, huh? Hell yeah, but I mean, it's cool to be like cocky or like whatever you want to call it. But like, as a rapper, you yeah. need to. A little no, bit. you need to. Like, I got, I got the confidence and the swag. Like, I've been that nigga. Like, a lot of niggas never was that nigga. Like, so mm. when they get a little exposure or fame, now they don't know how to really take it. Like, it's it's all up here. Like, so, so who are you ain't in, used to it? Talk to us about what one take J was like in high school. That nigga, like <laughs> I, I was popular. Like I ain't gonna, like even when I was a kid. Like bro, I played. Like I didn't. I never even wanted to rap. I never tried to rap. I never been introduced to rap. I was a football player, so I was playing football. I lived in Compton, but I played for Inglewood. Mm. So uh, and not the Jets for all y'all that's watching. <laughs> yeah, St Andrews Park, Inglewood Seminoles. So uh, yeah, I lived in Compton. I played in Inglewood. Then in high school. I uh, went to Centennial, all, Compton Centennial, all three years. Then I transferred to Carson my last year. Then I, I but before that, I went to West mm -hmm. Adams. So I already knew hella people. You were and touching all exactly. parts of the land. Yeah. And then, you know, like you meet somebody, like that one person that go, can go everywhere and like everybody just love them automatically. Mm. You looking at them like mm. everybody just fuck with me automatically. Like, I never force no relationships. Like I just be me wherever I go, right. and people just fuck with me. So look, before I was making music, like I already had a following, like just from being me. Like and my Instagram, like I was already like doing dumb shit, like a funny nigga. Like you weren't you weren't going full boom gang. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I mean, bro, funny though. Like when he when he was on that tip. Yeah, that I mean was that good, was cool, right? bro. Yeah. Was funny though, but nah, I wasn't on no shit like that. I would just do dumb shit like yeah, like regular shit. Like I fuck around and stand on your table and start dancing, or like I was like kind of like the class clown, mm. but but like that everybody liked though. Like the teachers never suspended me, kicked me out. Like they like. Was it obvious to you though? Like like when did rap start to seem like that was the wave of in terms of what you wanted to pursue? Shit, when I start making bread off of it. Oh, word? Hell yeah. So who introduced you to even rapping at all, though? Uh, two of the homies. Uh, one, uh, Cause you know, like one take a whole little squad and yeah, just yeah. me. Uh, one take Quan and one take Teezy. Teezy, he a little bit older. So he been, like during the jerking movement, he was making beats for like people like, people may not know like LMKR, which is like, like, like I think AV was from there. Like LMKR, uh... Really like a gang of people like just locally during the jerking movement. So he already had the beats and him and Quan was like rapping and shit. I was never rapping. Mm. So this like fresh out of high school or whatever. So um they but they used to always cause I used to always be with him though, and we was never at no studio. We was like in a like in bro room. Like he had to set up in a closet, like mm. nigga, like we hot as a bitch in there, we sweating all that. <laughs> yeah. So uh they used to always tell me, like, get on a song, get on something like bro. Nah, I'm good. Do y'all thing. Like, you feel me? I'm just here chilling with the homies. Mm. So one day, uh, he had a beat. I was low-key feeling it. And like like they always do, jump on some shit. I'm like, fuck it. I'm going to try to write some. So I wrote some shit. And then we just put it out. Like, we was never like the type to be holding shit or like. So we made that song, put it right out. And then I, we knew people that rapped and shit. They shit well, were trying to rap. They shit was only getting like 400 views and shit, a couple hundred. Shit, our shit got like a couple thousand like. Right away. Uh -huh. And I told you I already had a following. So it was just like easy promo. I just posted it once and people was fucking with it. I'm like, damn. But I still wasn't like, oh, I'm on music now since it's getting plays. I'm like, oh, this shit fun. Like I came up with a little cool verse. It sounded cool to me. So and I'm really a fan of music before a rapper. So when uh, when I felt like people was fucking with it, I'm like, shit, I'm gonna just keep doing it. Was the whole jerking era like before you were even in high school? Or was that high school? Yeah, for I, was a, you? I was a little kid. Oh, you're a little kid, right? So that that's kind of crazy because I hear people even outside of LA 
who talk about like how you know dancing was so cool and shit and like how how that jerking movement was like influencing like a lot of other states and shit and then it felt like overnight everybody sort of like everybody want to be tough you know and and i've heard a lot of people identify it as being like when chief keep came out for sure so many people were just like fuck i'm wearing a little ass white tee i I need a 30 hanging out influential people is probably like like with a whole movement though like well, I'm gonna say three: Chief Keith, Young Thug, and like maybe like T Pain. T Pain, Jesus Hell Christ! Yeah. I'm gonna be honest. I'm kind of ignorant to T Pain's true impact on the culture. Cause you gotta think. Like at first, I didn't even really realize that like bro was doing auto tune when niggas didn't even know what auto tune was. Right. I mean, but it ain't like really nothing like like too deep. But like it's facts though. Bro was doing auto tune and niggas was like, the fuck he can't even sing like. Mm. But now there was a lot of people who kind of fuck. Everybody do auto tune. Jay Z tried to kill auto tune and it didn't work. That was the first time Jay Z in it his worked. career. But look, but look, look what you just said. It worked for T Pain though. Yeah, niggas had making hits. There was a, I don't know if you remember this, but Jay Z was performing the death of auto tune, and T Pain came out on stage. He wasn't wanted on stage. He walked the fuck out on stage, and it was awkward as fuck. The video was so weird. No, that was I back ain't in never the day. Seen that. I'm at the YouTube that. Bro, that's some weird shit. Some weird hip hop history. Nah, but Jay used to be able to call the shots at that time about what was cool and what wasn't. And Auto Tune was the first thing that he said wasn't cool. And it didn't really like become uncool. Because in reality, it was the it was the kids, the youth were the ones who were fucking with it. Yeah. So, you know. Shit, now everybody fucking with it. That's true. You don't fuck with it really though, right? No. Mm-hmm. You never think about it? Nah. It feels like so many. Like regular rappers just decide at some point, like, nah, fuck it, I'm gonna make some silky smooth auto tune shit. I mean, I did some shit before, like, but like, it ain't like, cause I like to like talk shit. Well, mm. auto tune, you trying to sound sexy and smooth and shit, like, yeah. that's for people that's low key trying to make like, well, not trying to, that make like struggle music or like, well, not even struggle music, but like that, like a vibe though, like. But low key, if you could if you could sing rap, you automatically like winning. Mm. So if you if you could create a, a curated fan base with just your regular voice and your bars or your even your catchiness, whatever it is, I feel like you doper than a motherfucker using auto tune. That's just my opinion. Definitely. Do you uh? Did you always? I feel like your music is kind of like hype music though. It's like that. Nah, I, for sure. I don't know if I really heard a song from you that was like, let's get sad. Let's talk about some. Unfun shit. No. Nah. No, nah, you're not coming. That ain't really me. Yeah. If you're a pussy, stay at home. <laughs> Don't listen to it. There it is. Um, okay, but so you, you did that first verse or whatever, and like did you just decide to go full full throttle with it? Yeah. Nah, like we were just having fun with it. But like from I'm telling you, football, like every it's a lot of rappers that play football and basketball. Anybody can tell you this from playing sports. You learn like you really learn a lot of life lessons that you ain't even really knowing. Like, especially when you good. Cause like, just think about it like this. Like, okay, a nigga was good at football. I'm a natural hard worker. Like, I'm grinding every day, working out, going to the gym. I'm getting it in, like, every day. So in life, you gonna apply the same shit. Yeah, that's real. Sports definitely kind of teaches you that, huh? Yeah. For me, I never got into the organized sports shit, so I never so really... So I'll probably run you the fuck over. Hell yeah. Physically? For sure. I mean, we could do that. Me and Adam line it up. I don't Helmet know, shoulder You're pads. definitely in better shape than me, but you also no, are No, like no, no. Nigga got a little, nigga got a little Gerber baby right now. Oh, you do? For sure. Oh, that's what's up. <laughs> little Gerber. <laughs> yeah, nigga just start back working out. <laughs> snow, for sure. Snow Gerb TV. Yeah. Bro, I've been in the gym, though, so I don't know what kind of shape you're in, realistically. No, I still come across your shit, though. How many push-ups do you think you can do right now? Nigga do like a quick fainty. 50. Fainty. Yeah, I'm probably I mean, top you got a little right build now. on you, but I could probably ain't do 50. backing down or nothing, though. No, I, mean, I don't want to fight. Come uh. on. No, no. Not, it's not like that. If you like that, you can go watch the full video. I'm One Take J, and thank you for watching. Go like, comment, and subscribe, and follow me at the number one T-A-K-E-J-A-Y.